Hey guys, welcome back to ba Banished. Uh, I'm going to have to apologise for the last episode. The audio was about one second out. Uh, my just my voiceover commentary. I uh, I missed that. I I just noticed it editing this next episode. That hey, the sounds are a second out, and uh, yeah, it wasn't the last episode as well because I uh, recorded both in the same session. But uh, I've uh, fixed that now, so this episode should be better. Which I don't think anybody noticed, but I noticed. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing this episode? I have the first port up and running, and I think I put a cemetery in as well towards the end. Uh, so, enjoy. Uh, there we go, build this barn. Build this barn, please. Five students now. Still getting children born, which is good. No, no, no. Fill in this blueprint of logs, I'm sure. Here they come, look. Here they come. That's one of my logs just gone game. You know. Oh, not less at all. That's where having to produce more firewood now it's winter. Um, just because I've got a few more houses now, I will increase the limit. Just a, just a touch. Oh wow, they used all that, all the wood. Oh. It's because I can get rid of this. Okay. And then we'll probably have to build the market next. That's. Yeah, then do need the market. Store shit. Storing shit is. Okay. Quite important. So I'm just going to pause the game here and plant a couple more houses just around here. Um, terrain here isn't great. Ooh, that sucks. Can't put a house there, really? Uh, just like that. Like that as well. There we go. Road like that. Road there. Road come around here. Around here. No, around there. Go around there. Come on. There we go. I pause all of these. Yeah, pause them all, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. There we go, we've hit our herb limit. There we go, the builder's building this one, sweet. I just want to click off the That's really annoying. Stay there. And he lives just there, that's clever. Now he's hungry. Uh, build faster. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gone to visit the herbalist. Yeah, so another thing you have to factor in is how far people have to work, walk, work, walk to the herbalist. It's important, that you, even though the, like, my limit is full, as I expand out, like if I start building over here, I'm probably going to want another herbalist somewhere over here, just so people don't have to walk as far to, to seek medicine. We will get it done eventually. There we go. Right now. Ah, oh, it's one more build point. It's gone to gone to get a new tool. Now I'm gonna do this and the game's gonna moan at me for having like low tools and stuff. Make sure that is top priority. Yeah, no tools. Well, that's because because they're all in there. They need to be removed. So come and do it, people. What 
have they not got any of? Oh, there's no leather left. We need another hunting lodge. Yeah, we probably go with the front way over there. Now, I put off doing it before because the uh, zones overlap, but looking at Reddit earlier today, uh, that doesn't matter apparently. So, yeah, you can have as many hunting lodges as you want, and it doesn't actually affect the production, so. There's a top tip for you there. <laughs> hunting, hunting cabins, they can overlap, it's fine. But uh, gathering huts actually actually are affected by, by the circle. You know, they, the gatherers will they actually gather things off the land. So if you, the circles overlap, well, it's not really going to help you. You know, It's the same with the herbalists. That's why I only ever assign one herbalist, because generally they're going to pick all the herbs up anyway. If it's, if it's running at full capacity, they will pick all the herbs and then just be like, well, there's no herbs left, so they'll just wander around and, and do nothing, so it's not, not great, really. Yeah. So this will decrease the uh, effectiveness of this forest just lodge a little bit. So there's a bit of tree, tree real estate there that's uh, been demolished by me. So just filling this area with building, which isn't great. We'll try and minimise how much we do that. Um, come on students, need, need more labour. Hurry up and be educated. Learn faster. Uh. It does seem that our production... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does seem that our amount of stone hasn't really changed. I need the market, but I want to build the. I'm going to build the uh, trading post first. As soon as this building's finished. All right, let's increase the limit of tools again, just because I'm going to probably trade with some tools as well as firewood. As soon as this port's built, I'll also probably build another woodcutter. Um, we'll definitely get this forest, this lodge complete as well. Uh, perhaps finish one of these houses. Probably finish this house here. I'm going to assign that now. Do it now. <coughs> this, we're, we're doing pretty well for food, so I think we can support a couple more people being born. So it's important to keep that uh, steady population flow, but uh, not obviously not too quick. No, not too quick to expand. Just very slowly we build these houses. Very slowly indeed. That stockpile is full, it's no good. Well actually, because I'll be storing the logs here, it makes it uh, much much quicker for the wood chopper to Well, collect logs, you can just go logs, yeah, firewood, so uh, yeah. It's, it's a good and bad thing. And they're still harvesting into trees, you know what? You know what? No more, no more. Don't bother. Don't bother with it. Yeah. Good guys. Good guys. Lots of wood now. And the house is finished. Taylor teacher living in there. That's good. Um, let's put this up to 500. And let's... Are they going to finish that one first? So I'll wait for them to finish that one. Builders on there. I think port takes four, doesn't it? Yeah. So we will get on that. Why we basically just probably just have two hunting cabins on each. Uh, sorry, two labourers on each hunting cabin. So let's do that. Yeah, and then we have a new labourer. So straight in on food. How are people doing age-wise? We're actually have an aging population. Uh, uh, town services. 
that's the word, but cemetery. So when people die, they will be buried. I'm gonna actually put the cemetery over here. Um, we'll have it near the town, we'll have it. We'll have it here. Perhaps a quite, quite long cemetery. It's not very wide though, is it? Mm. 8 by 20 will do. It's going to use a lot of stone. So, probably going to want to just build a bridge over here. There's a load of stone there. There's also some stone here as well. So, um, we'll do that. Actually, pause the construction of the bridge for now. Get them to collect the stone. Collecting stone over here as well. Yeah, it's just a little bit there. Any more stone around? Mm. Mm. Not really, is there? A lovely lake here. It'd be good to perhaps set up some fishing along here. And here, it's a very big lake actually. Probably put some get away with a bit of trade port here as well. So I think the the AI ships do sort of come off the river a little bit. So yeah. Quite sure on exactly how how far off the uh, river they will come. Well, they finished that graveyard pretty quick, didn't they? I guess I am running at ten times speed. Let's slow it down a bit. So, uh, things are happening too fast. Um, yeah, they're not doing anything, are they? So let's go ahead and build this dock. We are going to run out of fur stone, though. We've got enough stone to do that. So I'm going to moan that there's no stone in the minute you watch. Here come the shuffling folks. Probably gonna use all my logs as well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to chop more trees down again. To finish this at some point. We've got enough labour really. We've got quite a lot of spare labour now. Probably. it though, don't build that yet. Maybe another one as well, just, just so when we do get fishermen working here they won't have too far to travel. Maybe a bit far from the market but they'll be fine. They'll be fine I'm sure. Yeah I know, we haven't got any have we? We're building a big dock aren't we game? Yeah, no stone left. Pretty good on iron, but may as well just collect that little bit of iron there. It's pretty close. Did they collect all the stone? I think they did, didn't they? And that, build this bridge then. I don't want to have to build a. Because you can build a uh, quarry. Which is, this in mind, this. And look at it. Look how fuck off big that is. Like. Ah, oh, it's ugly as well. Once you built it, I just I think it looks horrible. I don't I, I hate them. I hate these quarries and the mines as well. I mean I mean yeah, the mines look pretty cool, but it's just that the um once they're finished with, the ground is unusable. You can't use the ground that they're built on. So I it's just a waste. Like if if they like degraded, say over a hundred years, it'd be great, you know, that'd be awesome. But they don't it's stuck there forever. As soon as you build it, that's it. You cannot get rid of it. So I hate I hate doing it. That's why I uh, really want to get this trade port finished, so I can uh, just trade for stone and iron. You know, you can you can buy it in, and you don't have to worry them. Well, you sort of do because you, your product building anything depends on a trader with stone coming along. But you can. I mean, it takes like three or four years of game time to set up because you can order from the traders, but you know they have to come through the first time in order to do it. And there's lots of different. Got lots of different traders, you've got food traders, you've got livestock traders, so... Yeah, it does take a while, that's why you sort of need free ports, just because it's kind of random uh, which one comes through every time, so having lots of ports just ensures that you get a lot of traders coming through. Um, yeah, the trade ports are sort of like... They don't, they don't 
they don't link in with each other so you get one if one trader comes to this one then you order stone and iron and then he comes through again and goes to this one it you have to order the stone and iron again like it's it, they don't they don't sort of like yeah you get what i mean i, I, probably, I think i i think i've explained that pretty well probably not probably you're thinking what the fuck but yeah that's how it works <coughs> Uh, children, running out of children. Let's unpause one of these houses as soon as the trade port's finished. And build one of those houses. Yeah, go, go, go. Fast, fast. Almost done. Good, we do have some spare labour to immediately assign a... Or do you call it? A trader. time almost done a little bit more he's decided he wants to go home fine oh, I can't click on these fucking people it's so hard to click on people damn it there we go ah oh, damn it it's never gonna get done <sighs> there we go almost done Okay, sweet, let's assign that Batman. Just the one. And then we'll finish we'll fill this with uh, what we got. Fifty tools. And two hundred firewood for now. Um firewood. There it is. Uh yeah, it's about hundred hundred uh, herbs in there as well. Why not? A little spare herbs in a moment. I've actually got a fair bit of food. You could probably get where we put five of the venison in as well, because we've got a lot of hunting hunting cabinets. I expect we've got a lot of spare venison. Okay, let's... Yeah, they're going to do that house now, so we'll also do the fishing dock. Why not? Get a couple more fishermen working as well. A lot of people in that house. Uh, and as soon as that's done... And we'll build this market. Uh, oh, uh, let's raise that limit to 10,000. That won't we'll never have too much food. Uh, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna find that that isn't. Guy, he's got firewood. Okay. A little wheelbarrow to move the food around and the firewood and whatever. Oh, I do need to finish that as well. So much to do. <laughs> Probably just stick two fishermen on each just for now, I think. Maybe maybe free, I don't know. We're not running out of labour really. People are gonna start dying soon, so I need to be ready to replace them. Yeah, they're getting into their sixties now, the original settlers, so do you need to prepare for deaths? Got a graveyard ready. Doesn't actually hold that many graves, which isn't really great, is it? The um the graves degrade over time, so you don't have to just keep building graveyards and have them fill up the uh it takes quite a while but I, d I try to always have grave spaces, you know, because it does it does affect the happiness rating. So it's uh, it's always good to have. I mean, they do take up a lot of space. So I mean, it does it does annoy me how much space they take up. If you want to build the biggest possible grave size, it's like massive. But there you go. You also need like a, um, a chapel, and that's quite big as well, really. But that also increases happiness. So I'm not quite at top happiness right now. So. Probably going to want to build one of these eventually. I'm also going to build a town hall. It's quite an important one. Because that gives me loads of stats and shit. But not just yet. Because we don't have enough. It takes quite a, quite a lot of stone. It takes tons. The hospital as well. Again, lots of stone. 
and a well in case there's a fire which would be a complete disaster I do have disasters on so it is a, it is a risk you know I will plan a well but I'm not going to build it just yet I don't want any stone left damn it can we build this bridge what are you doing guys I haven't got enough stone to build the bridge why not that's Ah, uh, bugger, 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 bugger. Okay. Um, stone over here. Oh, a bit far away from my settlement, but yeah, go get all the stone, guys. All the stone. A bit of iron as well. recording session here so yeah all right folks you've reached the uh, end of the episode here um next episode i am gonna switch the music on because well it's just i've not had the music on so far so i'm just gonna just gonna stick it on for the next the next recording session i do so i mean usually i would be showing you some of the next episode here but uh i don't actually have any footage recorded i haven't actually continued so i will I will show you nothing instead. <laughs> um, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Um, apart from that, I will see you next time.